Yo, this is Grant with Smooth. Thanks for joining me in this body weight strength workout. Features three of my favorite moves, the cat crawl, the negachiva pushup, and a modified dragon squat. I know you're gonna love it. And if you want more follow alongs just like this one, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the Smooth channel, and let us know how it went in the comments below. Let's get to that warm up. We're gonna get the blood pumping and get that breath going with the sliding skier. So tall through the spine, feet underneath your hips, and we are aligned through the body. Gonna slide down the backs of the legs here as we go into that hinge, that skier, and then inhale on the way up. So exhale on the way down, inhale on the way up. Now, first movement of our session today. So if you need to bend those knees, pull back through the hips a little bit more, go for that. Exhaling down, inhaling up. Driving those feet into the ground, pulling those hips back and maybe a little bit up and spiral those inner thighs inward here really creating a nice anchor through the lower body. Let's go three more right here. And rest, shaking out the legs, bouncing around, taking it into the pivots. So we're gonna find that same stance, maybe a little bit wider here, get down into that athletic spring, and then from here, focus on pivoting. So I'm gonna pivot on the ball of my foot internally. The eyes are gonna remain forward right here, and you're gonna notice some lo loading through this backside right here. Same thing, pivoting here, noticing the shift of the weight. And the pulling back through the hip. So if I'm here, I'm pivoting, I'm loading back here, loading back here. And I like to do this right here where I put that pivoting side right here, right on my heart, and then my other hand right on the cheek right there. Just kind of allows me to feel into the pivot. And you can start to play with your end range on that internal rotation. So really torquing the hip, rotating the hip internally. staying loaded in the backside of the body. From here, we're going to keep that same athletic stance right here, maybe a little bit wider because we want to clear the heel and we're going to pivot externally. Same thing here, eyes remain forward and I'm loading through my hips. Want to feel that engagement through the ground all the way up into your hip. And you're gonna notice a little bit of tail wag here as well. So as I'm pivoting here, I'm kind of wagging my tail over to the left, wagging my tail over to the right. Awesome. Standing tall and we're gonna get into some scapular circles here. So starting rolling those shoulders forward, tall through the spine, nice expansion of that rib cage. So we're feeling the shoulder blades right there, really glide along the back. And I encourage you to slow it down here a little bit for five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna go ahead and reverse direction here. Really doing your best to build some connection and some awareness around that mid back in your shoulder blades. And again, these last five right here, seeing if you can stay connected, really slowing things down.
and rest right there. All right, we're gonna go palms facing the ground here. You can make fists. I like that to get a little uh, action through the shoulder here. And we're simply going to go into some shoulder circles. So tall through the spine, you can have a little break at the hips right here. And we wanna really focus on, again, that connection through the shoulders. And this is gonna feel like some fatigue. We wanna get some fatigue going here, get some buzz, allowing the shoulders to really know where they are in space. Let's go three, two, one. We're gonna go thumbs up here and we're going back. Being aware of that, where that tension is, is cultivating. If it's starting to creep up into the neck right there, see if you can pull the shoulders down a little bit. And right here, through the collarbone, through the chest, really getting some nice stretch in the front of the body. Let's go three, two, one, and rest. All right, we're gonna widen out this dance here. And we're gonna focus on chopping into one hip and then reaching on the other side. So when I chop on my right hip here, I'm going to reach my palm out in front like so. So I'm chopping with my right side right here and then I'm reaching and you can see I'm starting to load through this hip right here. So it's more of a lateral lunge, reaching across the face right here, coming back up through center. Same thing, chopping that hip and reaching long. Chop the, chop the hip, reach through the hand. And it's that same thing right here. We wanna make sure we're reaching, as I chop here, reaching from that lat here not shrugging up, all right? So. Pulling back through that hip, getting a nice load through here, and then that load or that stretch on the inside of the thigh right here. Staying consistent, pulling hips away from hand, hand away from hips and feeling that small rotation led by the pelvis. So as I chop here, I start to rotate and I'm able to reach a little bit further through that hand. Let's go one more each side. Standing up, wiggle it out. Beautiful. We got one more thing we're gonna do, hopping down on the ground. Low dynamic plank here, okay? So I want you to focus on lifting one limb, better yet, two limbs at once. So we're gonna go contralateral, that's what we're working towards, but you can also just focus on lifting one limb. So I'm in my low plank right here, okay? I'm gonna lift left foot up, punch or lift right arm up and reach out. So I'm here and down, here and down. This is totally fine to just go with a nice little punch or upper body limb lift, gradually working towards that contralateral right here. Doing your best to get a little bit of hold on each side and noticing that weight shift through the forearm. Keep pressing through the forearm. Whew. Let's go three, two, one, and rest. All right, stand it up, shake it out. Three movements in today's workout. We're gonna work for a minute, followed up by 25 seconds of rest. And I want you to really focus on getting that 40 to 45 seconds of really solid work. Focus on the setup, take your time with it, and we're really gonna get the best use out of that minute. I'm going to workshop all three of the movements right now, so feel free to follow along with me or simply watch and get the cueing down, and then we'll hop in to those four rounds of these three exercises. First move is the cat crawl. Now, I want you to challenge yourself with making this really quiet. That means slow and stealthy. 
So I'm gonna get into my cat position right here, like so. I'm gonna really focus on rolling through that hand as I'm traveling forward. So heel hits first, I roll through that hand, I roll through that hand, I roll through that hand. So slow and stealthy here. As I come back, I can think fingertips and then roll through the palm, fingertips, roll through the palm, fingertips, roll through the palm. All right, so noticing that natural weight shift, doing your best to stay nice and quiet, unless you get on a squeaky board right there. What can we do about that? All right, so that is the cat crawl. Next move is the negativa push-up. So this position right here, we can use our hands to support us is going to be one leg straight out like so, and then I'm off of my heel and I'm posted up here. If I can support myself here, great. I'm feeling a little shaky today, right? So I encourage you to use that hand support. What I'm gonna do here is I'm going to reach one hand out to the side like so, place the other hand next to it. I'm gonna look towards the camera right here, okay? Do a push up, come back up, and then from here, switching sides. So I bring that leg in, I extend this leg out, I switch over, lower look in your direction right there, press up, switch sides, okay? So encourage you to use that hand support here as we come down, right? So even before we extend that leg out, you can put that hand down rotate, look, come up. So think an ear to the floor as we come down. That right there is the negativa push-up. Last one is the dragon squat. So we're gonna go through two levels today. One's gonna be your classic curtsy. So if my feet are pointing forward here, I'm gonna sink into my legs, sink into my hips, come back here, okay? And that angle, does not have to be as extreme. We can be back here, right? From here, I wanna pull through this hip. You can see I'm leaning forward here and I'm coming into this dragon squat. I come up, I switch sides. Driving through that outer pad and big toe pad, really driving that foot into the ground, feeling that nice hip flexion and rotation under load. Coming up. Now, level two. We're gonna come here, instead of top of the, or ball of the foot, we're gonna go top of the foot. So this is gonna take a little bit more load into that hip right here. And you're gonna notice, again, that need to come into that hip right here. So really driving that foot into the ground, pushing into that hip, standing tall. That is our dragon squat. Let's get into it with our cat crawl. Getting set up in your cat position, making sure we're being stealthy and quiet. Timer is rolling. Let's get that crawl going. So active and open through those hands, nice and slow. Really using that slower tempo that intention of being that quiet cat to dial in the movement. Pressing into the ground, breathe in. Want to have those eyes at least a few feet in front of you. this going a few more seconds of work and rest feel free to stand up shake it out and we're gonna get down on the ground for our negativa push-ups in just about 15 seconds all right so coming down into my monkey supporting out to the side, extending that leg out, working and let's go. So hand comes down, pressing, eyes forward, up. 
using that support to take you back through the monkey, find the support and coming out to the side. Now, that support hand, when you reach it out, reach it out a little further. That's gonna give you a little bit more room for your push up, and you aren't gonna feel as scrunched up in that push up. Again, I'm forgetting the eyes right there, but eyes are going to go forward, ear to the ground, press up. Extend the leg out, hand plants, ear to the ground, press up. And rest right there. Nice work. We're gonna go into that dragon squat. So 15 seconds before we hop in, I'm going to do the level one variation, all right? From there, if you wanna to start to add that level two, you can try that out. But let's start with the level one in three, two, one, and go. So finding, again, we're rotating here a little bit in the hip, coming down, eyes forward. And you don't have to touch that knee to the ground, but I find that's a nice little indicator of I'm sinking low not at the cost of losing the engagement through this front leg right here though. Continue to pull back through that hip. Big key here. Finding that corner of the hip and feeling how a little rotation happens through there. Still able to pull back, engage through the foot. Working for a few more seconds here. Finding that hip. And rest. All right, one round down. We got three more to go. Coming back to that cat crawl in just about 15 seconds. Taking a few breaths, bouncing around making a little noise before you got to get quiet five seconds we're going to get started here down on the ground cat position three two one and go continuing to Stay in that breath, rolling through the hands, right? So as I travel back, I'm starting to press through my hands, fingertips first, then heel of the hand, press back, fingertips first, heel of the hand, press back. When I'm coming forward through the hand right here, I roll on, I pull, I roll on, I pull. Few more seconds of work, keep it going. And rest. All right. Woo. Shake it out. Keep it moving. Joints bent quite a bit right there. Let them lengthen out in the standing position. Negativa push-up, let's get down into that monkey, extend one leg out, and we are working support hand on the same side of the straight leg, reaching out a little bit further, ear to the ground, press up, using the hand support as you transition through monkey. Again, not so concerned with getting your ear all the way to the ground, but just getting used to balancing in a position through both hands. There's a little rotation there. We gotta figure out how to engage our core, our back. So take your time, 
Just a few more seconds of work here. And rest. All right, taking it into the dragon. So up to you what you're doing here. We're either doing level one or level two. I'm gonna do level two here, so feel free to hop in with me here. Big focus is staying in that balanced leg or that front leg. Let's get started here in three, two, one, and go. So reaching back through here, top of the foot, shin comes to the ground, I'm in my hip, and up. If you find that it's a little challenging to get back in your hip, reach your hands forward. That's gonna help you pull back through there. You're gonna have a little offset of the weight. Again, drive through that outer pad of the foot and that big toe pad of the foot, establishing both that outer line and that inner line of your thigh, of your leg. Keep pulling back into that hip capsule. Letting the hip do the majority of the work here. And rest. <sighs> Two rounds, halfway there. Let's get it. <sighs> Cat crawl coming up. Just about 10 seconds. As you start to get tired here, get into that breath, get into those hands. Make sure we're engaged through that rib cage and connecting it to the hips. Let's get it going in three, two, one, and go. We're up and we're being quiet, stealthy. So I talked about the hands last time, let's bring up the feet. So as I'm traveling forwards, I'm pulling with my hands, I'm pressing with my feet, right? So feel that roll through your foot roll through your foot as you press and then it's almost like a pull as we come back right so I'm kind of pulling through my feet and pressing through my hands so connecting with those limbs connecting with the hands and the feet kind of a nice steady stealthy quiet stalking like tempo here and rest all right shake it out standing tall negativa push-up coming up next couple breaths now let's get ready for the setup so coming down into that monkey And we are going to start in three, two, one, and go. Planting the hand down, extending the leg out. Coming to that side, looking forward. Press it up. Again, getting used to that smooth transfer of weight through the hands here, right? So, whoop, over to the other side, extend the leg out. Bringing the leg back in, press over, and use that hand support. Again, I'm forgetting it, so you might be too. Bringing those eyes forward as you press down. Keeping your awareness up and rest. All right, dragon squat. You've got experience with the level one, maybe the level two, taking into account how those felt for you, what allowed you to do the movement more effectively by staying in that hip. That's the one I want you doing right now. All right, getting started in three, two, one, and we're moving. Again, reminder on those few 
details, pulling back through the hips. What helps us get into the hips? Let's say reaching hands away from the hips, hips away from hands. Continue to pull back into that hip. Now, as you reach that leg behind you, you might notice the body start to tilt a little bit. Where that tilt goes is gonna be into that corner of the hip. So continue to drive through that foot, connect the dots from foot, ankle, up to the hip. And that is rest right there. One more round. Let's finish strong here. Now, maybe you got a little bit more tempo in your quiet cat right here. So I want you to play around with that. It's okay if you make a little bit more noise. Let's get going here in three, two, one, and go. Can I add a little bit more tempo to it? Same intention. Bring those eyes forward a little bit. Strong through the hands, breathing. Whew. This is a long minute right here. <laughs> Doing your best to stay focused on those details throughout this whole minute here, working here for three, two, one, rest. Awesome work. Whoo. So, Negachiva push up, you know the deal. We've done it three times. We're gonna start in that monkey position. Making sure we have awareness through the eyes. Three, two, one, and we're working. Strong through that push up in both directions. Pull yourself to the ground. Press away. Again, finishing strong. Last set, best set right here. right there alrighty dragon squat here finishing real strong with this one pick your level have fun with it and really focus on that balance and loading through that front leg go Great opportunity to really slow things down and find your ranges, your end ranges with this move. I definitely noticed some more limitation through my left hip. So it's a great opportunity to slow things down, test it. Slowing it down, slowing it down, slowing it down. Ooh, lots of cooking through here, lots of stretch. 
standing tall. And that is rest right there. Whew. Awesome job with the work set. Let's take it into our cool down. So for our cool down, we're gonna get down on the ground. May want a little padding, so either grab your mat or find a little spot on some carpet. So first things first, we're gonna get down on the stomach and we're gonna go into a floor scorpion right here. So really up to you what you wanna do with your hands right here. I can always change the angle. I like to go a little bit up, so not straight out to the side, but a little bit up. I'm gonna bring, let's say my left hand here in, and then from here, I'm going to hit that scorpion and allow that foot to rest right there if I can get it there. But I really just wanna get this stretch through the chest right here. So breathing into that area in your lungs, your chest right here where you're feeling some stretch. And you can always use the hand here to intensify that by pressing into the ground. And we'll switch over to the other side, extend that hand out, slide the other hand in, rotate right here. So that rotation through the lower body, making sure we're feeling some activation through the hips. And then there's some extension, or sorry, rotation happening through the T-spine here. So that rotation, we don't want it all to just go dumping into the lower back, staying active through the hand here a little bit, through the other hand, getting that natural rotation through the T-spine. Let's go one more on each side. And of course, if you need to, you can always pause the video or just do a few more reps of this after we're wrapped up today. I know we introduced a new push-up, some new angles, and overall that's going to be a great experience, and sometimes <laughs> we'll get real sore from stuff like that, or we'll feel it in new spots, so just want to give you some specific ways to stretch this out. Again, if I want to change that angle and stretch out the chest and shoulder at those angles. We want all those angles right here, right? So the ability to find those different angles that you need particular length and work on is key. Now, this is one of my favorite little cool down core exercises. It's gonna be a crunch here. I think I'm just gonna have to hold, well, we'll see. <clears throat> we'll see how the mic does. All right, so I'm gonna start in the center, completely lengthened out. Now, from here, I'm going to drive elbows to my knees and knees to the elbows as I roll to my side like so. So that's gonna be exhale, inhale, open up long through the body, exhale, crunching right here. So, Finding a nice roll through your side body right here. Getting some nice flexion through the spine. And then some nice extension out and long. Keep flowing with this. I gotta make a little mic adjustment. Noticing just the differences of, let's say that side that's facing towards the sky or the ceiling and the side that's in the ground right there. So I wanna just use that variation to continue to open up through the body right there. That is all I've got in today's strength workout. Thank you so much for showing up, putting in that effort. And uh, now you got a few more tools to add to your strength game. Have fun with those moves, play around with them. We'll be working on them a bunch more. Stay smooth.